Okay, so today we're going to learn how to apply the Windows Vista upgrade, which you can see right there. Now, so far I've just popped the CD in on my previous version of Windows Windows XP Media Center Edition. And now I'm just going to hit install now. Okay, so the first option is um, to get important updates for installation. Um, now it's going to connect to the internet. I don't have the internet, so I'm going to select do not get important updates for activation. Now it's um, asking to input the product key, so I'm just going to put that in and then hit the next step. Okay, so the next option is just agreeing to the licensing terms and agreements, so I'm just going to hit I accept and hit next. And now we want to, in this particular video, we're going to select the custom advanced option. Okay, and now it's asking us where do you want to install Windows, so you select which drive, usually your C drive. Now it says contains Windows from a previous version, if this file and folders want to be removed, the folder name to Windows old. So after it installs, it's going to rename your old Windows version to windows.old. So I'm just going to hit OK there. And now it's going to proceed to copy the files for installation. So I'm just going to pause it and come back to when it's on the next step. Okay, so it's just rebooting now for the first part of the installation. So I'm not going to press anything. I'm just going to let it boot into whatever option it chooses. So don't select anything. Okay, so it started up into the installing Windows part. So I'm just going to let that run. And it's up to 27%. So we'll just come back to that once it's come to the next step. Okay, so it's just uh, restarted again. So once again, don't uh, press any of the keys while it's starting up, just let it continue to the next part of the installation. To the please wait for a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time. And then it's back to the final part of completing the installation. So we'll come back to that once it's on to the next step. Okay, so it's just restarting again. And once again, don't press any keys, just let it automatically restart and select what options, let, let it select whatever option it wants. should start up into Windows, just like so. Okay, so it's just coming to the first part of the setting, or the next part of the setting up Windows. So you just select your country or region. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Time, currency. Okay, so it's going to hit next. Now it says choose a username, for example, so just put in a username, so just put in user1. And I'm not going to put in a password, you can put in password if you like. Um, choose a computer name, you can leave the default there if you like. Okay, now it says here, use recommended, uh, help protect Windows automatically, use recommended settings, install important update only, I'll ask you later. So I'm just going to select use recommended. Now, ask to select your time zone. So just select in mine, date and time is correct. Let's hit next, and then start. Now it's just going through final stages of Installing Windows. So now it's just rebooting the computer again to start up. So once again, don't press any keys, just let it start up however it wants to start up. Okay, so now it's in the desktop and now it appears to have loaded 
Okay, so that's basically it. Pretty straightforward, not too complicated. It's pretty hard to mess it up, so you, everyone should be right doing this. Okay, thanks for watching.